good morning everybody just coming up to six o'clock in the morning and covered just 15 miles I left at five so pretty good pace so far but today I'm planning 120 miles so doubtful I'll keep that pace up all the way around but if I can end up with sort of 13 and a half miles an hour I'll be happy For today's ride we're going to route up through Newark and then we're going to join the NCN route, I can't think what it's called, but it uh, goes across from Tuxford to Lincoln and i am join that to Fledborough, so we'll go across the Trent on the Fledborough Viaduct, get into Lincoln along the waterside and then we're going to go on to the Water Railway and I'm going to follow that up quite a way towards Boston and then route back through the country lanes from Boston back to Grantham. That's the plan. But I'll tell you why that might go wrong very shortly when we have our first stop at Newark Castle. Morning. Good morning everybody, well I've made it to the first stop this morning, I'm in Newark. This behind me is the magnificent uh, Newark Castle. It's the place where that infamous King John died. Uh, apparently lost his treasure in the wash. Nobody's ever found it but you never know. We're by the River Trent at the moment and we'll be following the Trent for quite a way up here and then we'll leave it as we cross the Fledborough Viaduct and that's on another beautiful trail. One of the things with Newark is that it has a fantastic cycle network. It's really enjoyable to ride around here. It feels very safe as well. As I've said, we're attempting 120 miles today, but I did say something might cause it to be abandoned uh, before the 120. And that's because I've been suffering from some shoulder pain. Um, Today's the 12th of September, uh, on the 17th, I think it is, 17th of September, that's Friday, 
I have an appointment uh, with a doctor to have a steroid injection if, if it's suitable. So hopefully that'll sort that out. But it worked well for me today because I woke up this morning at half past three with pain and I decided let's get going. I wanted to do a night ride this year but haven't got round to it so I thought well I'm up so it was a little bit of night anyway leaving at 5am but now the sun's coming up it's warming up and we'll get on with the rest of the ride and we'll stop every 20 miles have a little chat and today I'll tell you some of the things that are going on with me and uh, We've had a few things that have taken a bit more of my time than normal, so uh, haven't been quite as busy on the videos for the channel, although I have been making a video, so I'll tell you more about that a bit later on. The cycling infrastructure around the Grantham area is very, very poor. It's really a case of when developers have built new estates, they've put some cycle infrastructure in, but they're not joined up. The council are making some fairly major changes in the town and they will improve cycling and walking, but not if they're not joined up. The other aspect is parking in the town. The, the cycle parking we have in many cases isn't that secure. So I decided that something needed to be done about it and it's no good complaining about it. We needed to do something positive and make people listen. I'd written to various people, the police commissioner, the councillor responsible for highways and really I got nowhere. You know I had the usual political platitudes but no action. I was ignored really. So I decided to speak to Cycling UK about it. I knew they were pretty good at campaigning and asked for some advice and they suggested that maybe I should become one of their local advocate reps. So I looked into it, had a chat with them and decided to take that on. And it's absolutely amazing. The moment I started to sign myself off as representing Cycling UK, suddenly people have taken notice. Uh, in fact, they've probably taken too much notice because I've just been so overwhelmed with the response that it's taken up a lot more of my time than I expected. I then made a video to actually highlight all the issues. I also included where it's good, but also where we need to make some changes.
I didn't put that video on this channel because it wouldn't really interest most of you because it's just local issues so I made a separate channel for that if you want to look at the video I'll put a link below in the description you know if you can't sleep one night and you want something to bore you to tears you can have a look oh, I didn't want to shock you all <laughs> oh, right I'm having mine in a minute we put out a press release and that received quite a bit of attention online and uh, people are taking notice of us we're even now getting invitations to meet up with people I'm also keen to see more children cycling to school it's going to help with the congestion we see with the school run and it's a fact that children are much much more attentive in class when they've had some exercise on the way to school peaceful is this I love old disused railway lines so peaceful lots of wildlife it's still early in the morning so there's nobody about really although I just passed a kiwi lady picking blackberries for a breakfast it's a bit uh, unusual we're 42 miles in now so third of the way round it's been a good ride so far everything's going well touch wood just stopped on this bench and had some food to keep the energy levels up the good thing is the shoulders holding up there's no pain there at all uh, the other day I was on this trail with Rod and uh, did have a lot of pain in the shoulder which I haven't had cycling but I think it was because I would just put a new saddle on and I don't think I got the position quite right so I've, I've altered the position moved it a bit further forward today and it seems to be okay. 